Anthony Barr and the Minnesota Vikings have had a very interesting relationship with each other and also Barr has had a very up and down and interesting relationship with the Minnesota Vikings fan base. And in today's video, I'm going to be talking about Anthony Barr and is this no doubt his last year with the Minnesota Vikings? Even if he balls out, how he plays, what are the ramifications? If he plays really well, will they bring him back? Even if he plays really well, do they... Like, can they bring them back, bring him back? And then also, if he doesn't play well, is it a no doubt conclusion that he will be gone and they will not be re-signing him? That's what we're we'll going to be discussing in today's video. Anthony Barr, his history and his present and his future with the Minnesota Vikings. If you guys are new here, subscribe to the channel, leave a like on the video, comment down below Minnesota Vikings videos every single week, starting every single day in August. We're going to three times a week right now, full time in August, two, three videos a day. Leave a like, comment down below, respond to all you guys. Let's talk about Anthony Barr. Well, Anthony Barr, he came on the scene as a Minnesota Viking his rookie year, and everybody thought this is one of the next great linebackers for the Minnesota Vikings, and I thought the same. You know, he popped off the screen at a 6'5 frame, really big, strong, all the tools, even the intangibles, I was head over heels for Anthony Barr. And then his teammate from UCLA came in, Eric Kendricks, and he was a stud too. And I was like, wow, we might have this linebacking tandem from UCLA that is going to shock the world and is going to put everybody on notice. And we are going to have the best linebackers in the division, best duo linebackers in the division for the next eight years. Was that true? Kind of. One guy held up their side of the bargain, I guess. And then I got the Anthony Barr, and he got the year two, three, four, and five, and six. And he just slightly improved every year. I'm not saying he didn't make any huge improvements, but I'm also saying he never really took that next step into Pro Bowl to an all pro category. He almost went to a Pro Bowl to kind of remaining the same and almost teetering off at the end. Now, the thing is with Anthony Barr, I don't think this is entirely his fault. I think Anthony Barr, when he was thinking about signing with the Jets about three years ago, he wanted to be more of the man. He wanted to be more of aggressive blitz packages. I think he wanted to go play with the Jets and play with Greg Williams, who would let him go, who would let him be more of a sack guy, let him be a huge tackle guy. And in the Viking system with Zimmer, he's not really that. So maybe that was a little bit of, hey, I want to go be more of the man somewhere else. And that's why he almost signed with the Jets and he came back to the Vikings. But also, I think his kind of not success, even though he hasn't like played bad, but his kind of lack of star player potential with the Vikings, I think it's a lot on Mike Zimmer. I think Mike Zimmer hasn't used him to his full potential. So I think in this next upcoming year, I want to see Barr more on the edge. I want him to be more of these blitz packages because I can just have this image. It's Sunday afternoon in Cincinnati. We got Daniil Hunter back, Michael Pierce, Dalvin Thompson, the whole gang on the line, the whole boys. And then you see a blitz package coming off the left side of the line where you got Daniil Hunter and then you got Anthony Barr screaming right behind him up in the B or C gap. That's what I want to see with Barr. I want to see him unleashed because the thing is with him, he's got the physical tools to do it. He's got the he's got the build of an outside edge rusher that could be a speed guy. And the thing is, he's also fast enough to still be great in coverage when they need him to be. I have a bold prediction. I think a storyline, not just within the Vikings camp and the Vikings media, but something when the Vikings start rattling off wins, I think there's good, it's going to be a big year for Anthony Barr. He is the one name on the Minnesota Vikings this year that not a lot of people have talked about. You know, we've said, is this his last year? And obviously, this is what the, the video is. But nobody's made a video really saying, is Anthony Barr primed for a breakout season? He's still young. He's still going to be entering his prime, and he's probably in his prime already. But that doesn't mean he can't kind of flip the script on his career. And now the storyline I was saying, I could see a storyline in the NFL being like, wow, the Minnesota Vikings, that defense is revamped. They got those two stud linebackers from UCLA who are also best friends. That would be a great storyline for the NFL to push is those two surrounded by Harrison Smith, Daniel Hunter and the guys. I just can see that being a storyline that they would push for a big primetime game 
for example, like later on in the year when Pittsburgh comes here on a Thursday night, that could be the storyline. How will the Vikings stud UCLA linebackers keep up with the Pittsburgh Steelers? That's just something to keep your eye out for. I think Anthony Barr, I think everybody needs to just wait and see. I don't know if he's going to be the guy we all think he can be. And listen, if he stays to what he is going in this upcoming year, hey, I'm fine with that. But he just got hurt last year. He had a whole kind of off season to revamp him, re maybe reshape a little things, get back in the get back in the lab, you know. He could re you know, he could resharpen some of his tools. So I think everybody pump the brakes on Anthony Barr. I think it is his last season no matter what. But also, if he goes and he dominates this year with Eric Kendricks and we're looking around, we're like, damn, if we could have those two and Daniel Hunter for the next three years, this defense could be special. Really, really special. So just keep your eye on it. Anthony Barr, incredible, incredibly interesting situation for the Vikes. Let me know what you guys think about Anthony Barr and his future down below in the comments. Let's go Vikes. See you guys next time. Peace.